here in Miami, Lone Depot Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on the Miami Marlins. John Chomby with you alongside Chris Singleton. So the Detroit Tigers are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boo. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with the win today. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Chloe Frazier up now for the Tigers. All around, I think if you ask anyone in this organization who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say her. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Mesa going back on this one. Gone! That ball was crushed. Home run number 20 on the year, and they add a pair. It's 2-0. That's her third straight game with a homer, Singy. This player is on fire, Boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. Jacob Berry, Braddy, the seven. next up for the Marlins. Fell right off to a great start. He's really cruising Braddy. out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. The Tigers up by two here in the third and final game of the series. On the ground right side in plenty of time to first and that is the third out of the inning nothing doing for the Marlins they trail things here to nothing get a good pitch here we go now batting second baseman Chloe Frazier Ball. First pitch misses. 1 0. Man at second. <laughs> Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a play. She reaches safely. Now that the first baseman, he belongs there. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. At the belt and fires. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Tigers three and the Marlins nothing. So digging in, Chloe Frazier. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got her day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast. Her fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped. 
That's back. Gone! That ball was crushed. Another homer. Her second home run of the game, and they boost their lead. It's 4-0. Sitting first pitch fastball, and that's what he delivered. She guessed right, squared it up, and she made it look way too easy. Looks like this hitter was looking out over the plate, but she was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And up next for Detroit, Chloe Frazier. She's got a couple homers already, so could she possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course she can. Those two she hit were legit, and she looks pretty locked in right now at the dish. Smoked in the left, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Well, Singy, she is locked in there. The she's really slowed the, the game season. down, and it's mm -hmm. like she's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that she squared up that baseball tells me that she is seeing it like a beach ball. Swing and a miss struck him out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He now probably should have got it, but didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. And next to hit for Detroit, Colton Keith. First and second, two down. Here are the top half of inning number seven. Bounce to the right side. And that squirts through. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. And the lead is up to five. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. The batter will be Michael, Michael Conforto. Michael. Not the easiest Conforto. thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. You know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Oh. They take the force out. They limit the damage here. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. Tiger six, and the Marlins one. Here's the second baseman, the Chloe timer. Frazier. Four baseman. out of four with two Chloe. homers and a couple of singles. Frazier. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew she was going to be a star just coming up, making her way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Swing, and that one's hammered. Deep drive, way back there. Boom, boom. And she's gone yard again. That's her third home run of the game. It's 9-4. Singing she's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for her. She is really seeing the ball well in this one. quite the show at the dish here in this one and she's just so locked in with her swing and she's just not missing right now three home well you can see this team is feeling it right now look at the smiles look at the high fives they feel real good about this three game series sweep and they get it done on the road you talk about the confidence that that can produce tell you what they're riding high right now it's a nice win in this game <laughs> 